happy Monday. It is May 24th, my birthday. It is 8.37 in the morning and I'm getting ready to head to my new internship site. I have to be there at nine. It's about 10 minutes away from my house. I also need to get gas because your girl has no gas. And um, yeah, I got an energy drink. I got an Alani New. Um, this is the Tropical flavor. I love it. I bought a ton of energy drinks over the weekend. So, yes. Um, yeah. On the agenda for today is go to my internship site, get like all the paperwork that I need to get signed and get all the whatever's they want to give me. I have a job interview at 3.30 today. I kind of want to start doing homework. So fun fact, my multicultural class does not start until May 31st, but she opened up the class early so that we can get a head start if we wanted to. So Aaron ordered my textbook for me and that was supposed to be here on Saturday. It got delivered and someone stole my textbook from my front porch. Yes, you heard that correctly. Someone stole my textbook from my front porch and they never gave it back. I'm not 100% sure what they're going to do with a multicultural textbook, but it was stolen. So Aaron had to report it and they're sending another one and it's not gonna be here until tomorrow. So, yes, I may just go ahead and watch the lectures for the first two chapters and then when the book comes tomorrow, just read the chapters from the textbook which is kind of the order that I was going to go in anyway but I can't imagine the lectures are going to be too too long so there's that so yes I'm not 100% sure what today consists of but I'm just going to bring you guys along with me so let me go run and grab some gas and then I will check in with you guys once I leave my internship hey guys I'm leaving 11 26 and I am done doing all of my paperwork and whatnot. I had to get like my badge. So that is all done. Next on the agenda, my face is very oily. It is a little toasty out here. Um, next on the agenda is we are going to go home and make a to-do list. So yes and then i have my interview at 3 30. i'm gonna have to move some things around because i'm going to be here at this new site monday wednesday friday and i'm going to be at my second site tuesday thursday depending on how things go here i may just terminate with my inpatient facility and just kind of stay here i really like the vibes that i got from this place like with the staff and my supervisor and all of that so i i don't know but i am really liking it here so far so if it was only my first day i haven't really done anything but they are planning on me ha starting to have clients on monday so that is super exciting um so yes i don't know if i'm going to be fully remote or not um if i am going to be fully remote then i can kind of show you guys like a day in the life of a therapist um but if not i'll kind of have to give you guys like the rundown but yes let me head to the store first because aaron just asked me to pick up milk i'm gonna run to the store then we're gonna go home and get some other things started and i will come check in with you guys when i get home good morning not morning it is literally seven o'clock good afternoon happy tuesday i didn't finish off the vlog today so we're gonna finish it off what English is hard. I did not finish off the vlog yesterday, so we're gonna finish it off today. It is Tuesday, and like I just said, it's about seven o'clock, and we are getting ready to do homework. I don't know if I already said this. If I did, I apologize. This class, which is actually my multicultural um, and counseling class, actually does not start until the 31st. Today is the 25th. However, my professor opened the course show early so that way we can get a head start if we want to. So I am going to do so. I don't know if I got the chance to mention this in the vlog because I didn't finish off the vlog yesterday. Um, 
Aaron ordered my textbook on Thursday, I wanna say, and it was delivered on Saturday and someone stole my textbook, never returned it. So he had to submit that request via Amazon and they sent another one and it didn't get here until today. So this is her. She's nice and thick and beautiful. She's brand new, haven't had a physical textbook in so long, and I am super excited. So we are going to read that. I did print out my syllabus. I haven't put any dates in my planner yet because I'm still waiting on my new planner to come in. I don't know when she's gonna come in, so we're just gonna keep using my day designer until she does. So I'm gonna make a quick to-do list for today because I didn't get the chance to make one. And then we are going to outline maybe the first two chapters. I'm gonna see how long they are. And I'm also gonna talk a little bit about how I do my readings for my textbook and how I do all of that. So I will talk about that because I know somebody requested that. So I wanna give you guys the content you wanna see, of course. I did have to put on my actual reading glasses because the font in this book is a little smaller than what I'm used to so plus I've been using e-textbooks for the past two semesters and I was able to zoom in so that really wasn't much of an issue but now it is so we're gonna make a to-do list and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys a little bit about how I outline my textbook and how I take my notes and all of that so let me do my to-do list and I will come check in with you guys in a few minutes all right, this is pretty much the to-do list for today. I need to plan for the week. I need to email someone from my internship site. I'm gonna read chapter one because it is 34 pages long and I'm just not gonna get to chapter two today, so I'll write that down for another week. I need to do a house application and log hours for my internship because I have not logged them for the past week and a half. And I actually already sent out this email so I can cross her off of the list. All right, now that I have done all of my planning, we are gonna get started on the reading. So I did pull up the lecture that corresponds with this chapter, or this week, I'm sorry, because this week it looks like we are supposed to read chapters one and two so there is a lecture so normally how i would do this is i would watch the lecture first because usually the lecture is a little less in depth and then i would go in and i would read the actual chapter from the textbook so because the, uh, the lecture is chapters one and two it's about 34 minutes long but because I'm only reading chapter one today, I'm only going to watch the lecture for chapter one. So I'm gonna do that first, and then I will come back and I will actually read my textbook. And of course, my camera is dying. So I'm going to read the lecture, not read the lecture, listen to the lecture, take some notes on the lecture. I'm going to let my camera battery charge a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys about reading my textbook, the tools that I use, and all of that. All right, we are back. I have watched a lecture and we are ready to take notes from our textbook. So, in terms of the essentials for me, of course you want your notebook. This is just a five star YWOOL one subject notebook. I would normally grab like a three subject or a five subject, a five subject notebook but because I only have two classes this summer, because I'm about to graduate, really don't need it. Um, a really good pen. So I grabbed these pens from Target. This is the brand. Let me see if you can see that. So this is just the U brand pen. Got it from Target. They have different colors. I just grabbed the all black one. We, of course, want highlighters. So these are just the mild liner highlighters i got a really big pack of these from target so i just pick random colors every time it doesn't really matter 
And of course you want your textbook if you are using a e-textbook that works just as well. So yes, we have everything that we need. If you know me, I'm a physical textbook gal, so yes. So we have everything that we need. This is all that I use when I take notes. So essentially what I do is I read the entire chapter. So the reason why I watch my lecture first is because it gives me an introduction of what I'm going to be reading in the chapter. She doesn't go too in depth about the definitions and things like that. She kind of puts up bullet points and adds her own little information in there, which is why I watch the lecture first. I get my introduction. I get her tidbit on it and then I go back and read the chapter and that's where I get all of my definitions and other information the book feels like I need to know. So yes, that is why I watch the lecture first. So essentially when I read my textbook, I always write down whatever the heading is and I go through and read whatever I feel like is important. So especially definitions those will always get written down but any information that i feel like is important for me to know i will write that down as well sometimes i write it down word for word sometimes i summarize what the sentence is saying it depends on how long the sentence is and depends on what the sentence is saying and i make sure that i read it first and then i go back and i write it again because there is that repetition it can help me remember it I don't write down every single sentence from the chapter because that's kind of pointless. So again, I just write down the really important facts that I feel like I need to know. Something that I feel like if someone was to ask me, I feel like I should kind of be able to spit it off the top of my head and not really have to think about it. So again, especially definitions and other important key facts. And the author and my textbooks have a very nice way of letting us know when they feel like we should know something and something is extremely important. So this is the first time I'm actually breaking open this textbook. So I haven't really gotten the chance to look at the layout of this textbook, but pretty much every textbook I outline is the same. And depending on your textbook, I may or may not do different headers. So like this one, I'm literally looking at the chapter right now and I just see like an entire chapter just full of keywords and terms. So I can already tell these notes are gonna be a little bit longer just because the first chapter always has more definitions. Um, so I will show you guys kind of what I'm talking about. So for example, I would write down this heading um, and then I would go through and I would read the chapter, write down anything that is important. And if you guys can see like these bolded terms are the definitions. So I would write down all of the definitions, any examples if they have them. And this is where I was telling you guys like these are just all of the definitions that they feel like we should know. So I would write these down as well. These little titles right here sometimes I write them down sometimes I don't it depends on if I feel like they are important but I definitely these really big bold ones I always write those down and yeah so it kind of depends on the textbook my textbooks always have like case examples I don't necessarily write anything down from here I just kind of like read through them so that is the rundown of how I outline my textbooks in terms of like psychology and a master's degree so i'll just go through and read all of this as you guys can see this is like a pretty thick textbook i love me a good physical textbook i cannot say it enough so i am going to prop you guys up and do a little montage so you guys can see physically how I do it. I do think I am going to add these little titles in there because I can definitely see the importance. And then I always highlight one of the titles. So I'll highlight the bolded title and then the little title doesn't get a highlight, just gets like another symbol. So I'll show you guys that. And then I always highlight the definitions. So I'm gonna get started on this and then I will come and check in with you guys in a little bit. <music>
I thought I would show you guys a page where I kind of have everything. I'm talking low because Aaron is asleep and it's literally only 9.08, but we'll let him be an old man. So this pink highlighted with the arrow is going to be the bold text. And this is going to be the smaller text. So the smaller text that looks like this. And then the bold text. Hold on, let me find it. This is going to be the pink highlighted with the arrow. And then that is just going to be the um, one with the box. And then, um, as you guys can see, these are definitions that are highlighted. And so, yeah, that is what this looks like in terms of like a full sheet and how I take notes and all of that. So, yes, hopefully that's helpful if you guys... If you guys have any other questions or whatever, make sure you leave them down in the comments and I can answer them. But yeah, I'm only on page 23. And I think I have about 10 pages left of this chapter. It's only 9 o'clock or 9.08. So I think I'm going to try to finish this chapter briefly. And then I need to eat dinner and get my stuff ready for tomorrow because I do have to go to my second internship site. I do still have a few things on my to-do list that I want to complete. So I will show you guys how many pages I wrote when I finish this chapter. So I'll come back and talk to you guys when I finish reading. Alright guys, I have finished reading the chapter. And I pretty much finished everything on my to-do list. There were a couple of things that I just went ahead and moved to tomorrow because it is 9.45 and I am sleepy. So getting ready to make sure that my bag is packed. So this is my practicum bag. I will be doing like another dedicated vlog or like video segment, whatever in the vlog for this bag. This bag in and of itself is new. I just got it today for my birthday. Erin bought it for my birthday along with the wallet that is somewhere in here. But the contents of the bag typically remain the same. And this is just the stuff that I take with me to my practicum. So um, I have a few things I have to put in there. Like my phone, water bottle, all of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw my planner in here because I know for a fact that I am done with her. So, yes. And this bag also has like a shoulder strap option, but I did take that out. And I really love the color of it. It is amazing. So yes, like I said, I will be doing a dedicated video on the bag and all the stuff that I carry in there. So yeah, I am pretty much done for the night. I am going to um, eat dinner, pick out what I'm going to wear for my internship tomorrow, and go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I will see you guys in the next vlog.